Hey, sneak and Linux back today again. Today we have a Linux Mint Debian Edition XFCE. This is a release candidate, by the way, so don't expect everything to work perfectly, derpically, super duper, okay? Because it doesn't, all right? But on the whole, it runs really nice. As you can see, basic Linux Mint desktop, so that's very, very nice. You get the basic up here, so that's home and your file system. No rubbish bin, really gone. I better enable that, better not. Now, I've installed the system, it's all updated, there wasn't hardly anything to update. Remember, it's Debian, it's not Ubuntu-based, this one, okay? So it is going to be a little bit different. So I'll give you a quick show you around. I must say, it's reasonably fast, it's not as fast as some of the others I've had, but it's okay, all right? So, as it's XFCE, you get the usual XFCE file manager, or whatever you want to call it, and the web browser, and the software manager. Right, first problem, the software manager, okay? It locked up twice on me. So I've not been able to actually use it to actually download anything, okay? But hopefully it might work this time, all right? We're going to have a quick look. Okay, so here's our thing. I'm going to type in open shot. Is it going to do anything? Or has it locked up again? No, it's not locked up that time. So you can actually download it from here. Now, when I've done this last time and put something else in here, in the search menu, it completely locked up twice. So I'm not going to do that this time. There is other ways to install stuff in Debian, as you know, or Linux Mint, Debian. If we go to System, and we want to go to Synaptic Package Manager, and I've used this already to download a couple of things. It wants my password. So we'll chuck that in. That looks all hunky-dory to me. I've actually already installed Blender, which I'll show you in a minute. And then I've actually already reloaded all everything that needs to be done. So that's okay. So we're going to open the shot again. And we're going to install it via Synaptic this time, just to make sure. So here it is. It's 1.4.2 stroke 1, and that's the one we want. Mark for installation. I am going to install it while we're here for the simple reason I can. Okay. In total, it's 36.8 megabytes to be downloaded, and it will take up 82 megs of space. So off we go. We're going to start downloading it now if it wants to. Here we go. Now, it shouldn't take too long today as I've got a nice new internet connection. And that's not it. Okay. That is not it whatsoever. Mm -mm. Oh, it's better. Here we go. And it's still not it, it's a bit faster. Must be lots of people using the net today. Oh dearie dearie me. There we go, that's better. So that's downloaded them files pretty quick, so that's alright. I can live with that. As long as we do my work in the evening, it's gonna be a lot faster, so hey. Anyway, we can start installing OpenShot for us. Now, even though I've downloaded Blender, which you need for OpenShot for the animated titles, you're gonna have to download an older version to get them to work. Now, I've already done a video about doing this and doing it manually before, so I will link it somewhere along the line if I remember. But if I don't remember, I won't be linking it, will I? No. So, it's nearly done. I'll have a bit of drinkage while we're doing that. Hang on a second. <laughs> oh, fruit and barley. Lovely jubbly. Almost done. 5432121. It should do. And there we are. We can close that now. Let's synaptic reload. 54321. Then we're done, okay. So we'll go back to the menu. I won't go to it straight away. But under accessories, as you can see, you get all the usual XFCE stuff and a few other extras. So there's Tomboy notes here as well. Screenshot, take a screenshot, add root terminal, catfish is here, Brazero as usual, which is repeated in some other parts of it too. Here's the blender I downloaded from Synaptic, which we won't be able to use with open shot. Don't ask me why, I think I've said before, but I'm not gonna say again. But as you can see, it's 2.61 works super fine lovely okay next down the menu also under graphics you do get gimpy g thumb an image viewer libreoffice the full libreoffice suite by the way i won't just open that under internet you get the firefox for your basic web browser you can install anything else that you wish to do so as you well know multimedia it's gone with banshee again i don't know why it's not my favorite but hey you may like it i don't no mem player as well a movie player open shot is here so we're going to open it now just to make sure it all works basically and there we go right now to show you what i mean about animated titles if you want to create an animated title you click there we're just going to do that one and normally it's going to give a it'll probably say to us we can't do it okay so we're going to refresh that will it work with this version of blender if i click render we're going to find out no, it don't want to know, does it? No. It's not even given any errors either. Hang on, it's gone back to one. Will it start to do it? Oh, oh call me a liar. It now works with Blender 261. Okay, so I'm going to cancel that render. Right, so 
You don't have to do it manually, it's all automatic. Just download it from Synaptic and it will all work for you. Call me a liar, eh? Blimey. Anyway, no, we don't want to save anything there, so we can get rid of that straight away. Okay, also, under Office, as I said before, the full LibreOffice suite. Okay, works rather fast, as it's Debian-based anyway, so it would do. So there we go, we'll shoot along now, and there's LibreOffice right about to come up there. Okay, you may want to get some extra fonts for yourself. I'm going to do a video about that, installing extra fonts in your for LibreOffice and Abbey Word, etc. Because some of you may want to do that. Okay, but under system, you get a backup tool, a bulk renamer as usual, a domain blocker, usual Linux Mint stuff, Gparted as standard, your software manager as I've shown you, Synaptic package manager, your system monitor. So I'll quickly open that up for you so you can have a quick look. And there we are, we're using 246.6. Now, when you first boot it up, it only uses around about 121 megabytes, okay? So that's no big deal. Now, something's hanging on to the CPU there because it's still going 10 to the dozen. So I reckon that's open shot. It's still actually running, even though I've closed it down. Not very good. Okay. Anyway, that's all about it, really. I'll go to about XSC, and it's 4.8. It's not the, f the latest and greatest one, okay? But you can be able to get that very, very soon. Now, as I said, release candidate, I'm not going to rate it, but if they can get all the little bugs sorted out, it'll probably be the best one so far using Debian, okay? So yeah, sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later, bye-bye.